All right, guys. It's time to check out this bronze beauty. Actually, super impressed with this one. This is an Italian brand. This is the Venita, Venita Nico. I think I said that right. And this is the uh, Nar Naride. Narada? Naride? Yeah, I think that's it. That's the model. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Cut me a break, will you? Um, I have video member a little while ago, the stainless steel one with the tungsten bezel. Super impressed with that one. That one was awesome. Super shiny. This one, more warm tone. This one is definitely... I, I like them both for two different reasons, right? This one is just incredible. I love the color used with the bronze. The anthracite dial that is also a fume. And we'll zoom in and we'll do some other stuff. But before we do that, let's take a look at the case size. Because that's more important to a lot of you guys. You might tune out. You might be like, oh, I'm out. Or, yeah, I'm in. Whatever. So case size on this is 42 millimeter. The lug to lug is a 48.5 millimeter. Thickness, only 12.6 millimeter. Flat sapphire crystal up top, of course. 22 millimeter lug width and a 7 millimeter screw down crown, keeping the 300 meter water resist. Also signed. And then you have a nice etched case back. I'll put a link in the description. There's a really good story of about the horses and the story behind it. And it's actually, the story is actually kind of printed on that leather strap too. I'm going to show you that. Sorry, I had to take a drink. So they sent it to me with this fitted rubber strap already installed. I just noticed the yeah, bronze on the buckle as well. So that should patina as well. 120 click bezel. I started to say they sent it on the rubber strap. That's how you're going to get it. It's an $85 premium for this leather. And I am going to put this leather on at the end of the video to show you. Spend the $85. I'm telling you right now. This is a, an amazing leather strap. Totally worth the $85 upcharge. So nice bezel action. Very solid. Lines up and uh, no play. Very solid. Inside is the Salida SW200 movement. It is a date. Date at the 3 o'clock position. Very easy to use the crown. Unscrew it. Very, uh, very good interaction with the crown tube assembly. No play in it. And, of course, you can uh, hack the movement and set your time or change your date, whatever you are working on there. The loom is a BGW-9. These are on pre-order. So, again, snapshot in time. These are going to come out February 16th, 2024. So, that's a snapshot in time. The pre-order is $876 and then $85 extra for the leather strap. I highly recommend doing that. Now let's take a closer look at this dial. Whoa, that was a fast zoom up. So you can see you have partially skeletonized handset and then plenty of um, real estate for the loom. But uh, another thing I want to point out, if I can catch it without all that glare, is the markers are actually attached to that outer ring. And they kind of like diving board over the dial. They float. They hover over the dial. Can you see that? It's subtle. It's not like very dramatic like I have handled some watches where it's very clear that they are way above the dial. This one, I didn't notice it just by looking at it like this. But uh, on closer inspection, I was like, that is pretty slick. Um, and I'm sure some of it makes sense to do that. And it's easier to like line things up and... Everything like that. But I like the effect. I really like the effect. So I think that's a good design choice. You get a little bit of that reflection off the dial of it. And adds some more dimension. It's pretty slick. Let me pop this on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist without dropping it or anything. That would be ideal. So there you go. Wears great on the rubber strap. If you're not into leather, fine, whatever. Don't spend the $85. Just get it on this strap and you'll be good to go. Nice fitted strap. 22 mil lug width. You can swap it out. Do whatever you want. But I'm going to put that leather strap on. I want to show you that. Here it is on the leather. It smells great. Feels great. Looks great. I love that there's text going across it. I have no idea what it says. I mean, I know what they... Tell me it says, but I can't read it. 
Um, but nevertheless, I think it looks cool. It really pairs up with the watch really good. The tone of the leather to the watch is great and just really pulls out the warm tones of the bronze. And I can't wait for this bronze to warm up. Let me just show you what it looks like on wrist. So whether you go with the gray, I mean, this is a great pairing as well. It just works really good with the dial color. But that brown, it looks great now. But as this watch warms up, I trust me, it's going to look amazing. So that's why I recommend getting both. Um, when they give you the leather, it doesn't come with the, the buckle. So you do have to swap that over. Um, not a big deal. It's just a spring bar. It's not very difficult. So let's uh, give this thing a quick blast with the UV light. And we do have a fully loomed um, bezel on this too, which typically you don't get with the bronze bezel inserts from the, a lot of the watches I've handled. So this was pretty good. And of course, a healthy application of BGW-9. Very, very bright, uniform application. Good all-around watch under the $1,000 price point with some extras. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next vid.